Look at you. Now look at us. This new Santa Fe is nice as what? Ha! We're about to go ahead and dive into the 2021 Santa Fe Limited. Let's talk about it. What is up guys, it's Miguel Car Guy, and today we are finally going over the long awaited and anticipated 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe, but not just any Santa Fe. We are going ahead and diving straight into the limited. Now, if you like this or any other Hyundai and happen to live in Orlando, go ahead and click that first link in the description below that says schedule with Miguel. That way I can guarantee that once you get here, you'll be getting me because I could actually go ahead and sell you these cars and we could have a little bit of fun. But let me go ahead and give you a little overview. This is not gonna be the technical breakdown that I typically do, even though that is coming. What I wanna go ahead and do is show you some of the coolest features that this thing has and appreciate its mere presence. Let's go. Now, when Hyundai puts the word limited on one of their cars, rest assured, it's quite impressive. And it's not just the car, it's actually the key. I like this key a lot because you can go ahead and lock the car. Another great thing that you can do from the key is go ahead and start the car from the key itself, which is absolutely, positively super, super phenomenal. And another great thing is that this thing is super, super advanced. So all you really have to do, instead of burdening yourself by walking all the way over there to that car, all you have to do is have the car start driving over to you because yes, the 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe does have Smart Park. And you can just grab the handle and hop on in. If you've ever been inside the previous generation of Santa Fe, it will be like deja vu because you could recognize a lot of similar things in the car, but it's a little different with the 21 Santa Fe. Most notably is the center console right here. It is like the baby palisade because notice you do not have no more the shift lever. You actually do have the shift by wire. That means if you wanna go into drive, just push drive. If you wanna go into park, just push park, so on and so forth, which is absolutely amazing. Now, another great feature and a byproduct of that is this little space right underneath the dash because you don't have any more mechanical linkages from the shifter to the transmission. Now you have all this extra space to store whatever you like. Now. That is not it either because just like on the Palisade, you still do have drive modes. And yes, it is on this little circular knob. That way you can go ahead and go through the drive modes. And being that this is a limited, you also do have the digital cluster, meaning that when you shift drive modes, you will see the differences in those drive modes on the screen. That is cool. Now, getting away from the screen, if you go ahead and look at the drive mode selector knob again, you will see a whole bunch of buttons, but I want you to focus on the buttons right below. These are the buttons for the warming seats because let's face it, every luxury car should have warming seats, but the Santa Fe Limited also does have ventilated seats. So not only do the seats warm up, they also cool down in the front and that is absolutely phenomenal, especially in a state that gets a lot of sun. Now, opening the cover right here on the center console, you will notice a few things. First off, you have an extra cup holder, a USB to charge up whatever device, and an indicator light. The indicator light is for your wireless charging because if your phone is capable, the Santa Fe Limited also does have wireless charging for your phone. But notice, there's not that much room in that little cover. But behind the indicator light, you will see a slot perfectly sized to accept your smartphone that could charge wirelessly. Go ahead, slide it on in there, wait for the indicator light to come on, and voila, your smartphone is charging wirelessly. So Santa Fe, go ahead, brush off your shoulders. That's clean. And another thing that I love about the Limited is that you also do have included the 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen display in the car. Now I've noticed something. Not only do you see the roads around you like always, but I now see icons for restaurants that are right around me right now. I can see Wendy's, I can see Panera, I can see Chipotle, and even all the way up here on top, I can see Subway, which I could find very useful in case I'm ever in a part of town I'm not sure about, and I'm not quite sure what I wanna eat. If I happen to be passing by a restaurant and I'm like, oh yeah, let's go eat there. That is super cool, and that's not it. 
That big old touchscreen also doubles as a backup camera and technically a 360 degree camera so that way you can see what's behind you, what's in front of you, and what's to the side of you when you're driving. And yes, when you put on the blinker, you can also go ahead and see a live feed of whoever or whatever might be next to you when you're driving. If you go ahead and turn on your favorite jams, you are going to love it because that sound is piped straight through the premium audio from Harman Kardon, really making it sound next level. And of course, being that it's the limited, you have to go ahead and open up the massive panoramic sunroof because yes, it goes all the way back and back and back. And you can see that it allows a lot of extra visibility, especially for those people in the back. And speaking of being in the back, if you ever want to come back to my channel, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. That way you and I can keep on growing the channel big and strong. But in regards to the Santa Fe, if you are sitting in the back, you probably have the best seat in the house because you still have the leather wrap seating surfaces and you still have plenty of room for those bigger, taller people much like myself. And yes, even though you do have the full panoramic sunroof, you still have plenty of headroom, which is where a lot of SUVs fail because headroom is eaten up by the sunroof, but not in the Santa Fe Limited. Aside from the Santa Fe having the leather seating surfaces, it also does have heated seats in the back as well. All you gotta do is push this little button right above the window switch and the seats will start to warm up. But let's say you have the opposite problem. Let's say it's a little too warm. Well, no worries. The Santa Fe still got you because they do have second row air vents so that way you can be nice and comfy. And nowadays, being that we live in the future, being comfy is also part of being connected. So not only do you have two USB ports right here in the back underneath the air conditioning vents, but you also do have a home wall charger. That way, if you happen to bring your laptop with you and you're running low on juice, Go ahead, plug it in, and you can go ahead and edit videos on the fly while being chauffeured in the Santa Fe Limited. And now we get into the cargo area of the Santa Fe, which is very, very useful and very, very convenient. As you can see, you have a massive amount of room, just like in the previous generation of the Santa Fe, even when the seats are up. And let me go ahead and show you a few buttons. I love these little switches on the side of the Santa Fe Limited. You go ahead, push them down, and then the seats in the middle will actually spring forward to maximize your cargo volume. That way you don't have to put anything on the ground, run around to the side, put that seat down, run around to the other side, put that seat down. No, just come over here, push the buttons, and then the seats go right down for your enjoyment. Now, getting to the outside of the car, I've said that's on a previous video. The 2019 and 2020 Santa Fe body style was so nice, it made me dislike the 2018s and before, even though I was still a fan of the Santa Fe, those new body styles were just so nice. It's a little bit of the same, but a little bit different. I still like the 19 and 20 body style, but in the 2021, I appreciate the curves a little bit more. I mean, when you go ahead and step back and look at it, you still have this massive chrome cascading grill, reminiscent of the Hyundai family, and still part of that seductive sportiness design language Hyundai pioneered back in the Sonata and on the Elantra. And I am very happy that they also included this nice little brushed aluminum feature on the bottom of the grill. It almost looks like a tusk, making it look a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more stylish, and definitely something you should get out of the way for. Now, for those of you who know a little bit about Hyundai or have been following around for a while, when a Santa Fe has 19 inch rims, that usually means something very specific. And in this case, it means that you also do have a turbocharged four cylinder. So you get a good efficiency, but when you put the hammer down, you are off with 277 horsepower, but the engines only half the equation. What about the transmission? Well, I'm glad you asked because you do have an automatic transmission, but it is not a typical automatic transmission. It is an eight speed wet dual clutch transmission. Very performancey, very quick at shifting. And if you're wondering how performancey is it? Well, the engineers decided to put one in the Veloster N. And so guys, that has been the 2021 Hyundai Santa Fe Limited. And no, I didn't talk about every single little detail on the car because it would take way, way too long on this one. And I'm too fun for that. But if you like these videos, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. That way you and I can keep on growing the channel big and strong. And leave me a few comments. What else would you like to see? But guys, that has been my time. So until next time, I'm Miguel, your car guy, and I'll see you soon. And please let me show you this huge touchscreen because yes, you also do get a 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen in the Palisade. 
Keep us. It's a palace. I said. I mean Santa Fe. It's a monster, dude. 311 foot pounds of torque on a four cylinder. Adam says it's monster. I like monsters. 